Welcome to the Kuya Dev Tidbits Podcast, where we explore the ins and outs of building a successful career in the tech industry. My name is Rem, your Kuya Dev, and I'm excited to have you join me for this episode. Whether you're just starting out, looking to shift careers into tech, or hoping to grow more as a tech professional, this podcast is for you. Thank you for tuning in, and together, let's enjoy the episode. Yeah, I'm back after a long mid-season break. Pasensya na, medyo na pabisi, but uh, medyo nagbago yung mga plano natin sa buhay. Um, maybe I'll just discuss that in another episode. Maybe not here in the podcast, but uh, on my Facebook page or maybe on TikTok. Yeah, I'm on TikTok too if you aren't aware yet. So, I'm m- my handle, my TikTok handle is now just Kuya Dev Things. Baka kalokohan lang yon and some, you know, uh, some serious things. Parang yung Facebook page ko rin. Um, hal- halos walang pinagkaiba. Uh, in ano lang, in video form lang, short form video. But uh, I'd, I'd uh, love for you guys to follow it if you like. But uh, kung ayaw nyo, okay lang rin. <laughs> uh, kanya-kanyang trip. Kasi ako rin mismo, hindi ako uh, TikTok guy. So I'm trying to figure it out pa. And uh, I think I speak uh, on behalf of uh, my generation na uh, it's kind of overwhelming. Hindi kami sanay sa ganun na mabilisan na information. No? Parang per TikTok is what? One minute? No? Three minutes? Longest is ten minutes? But I think TikTok is now experimenting with uh, long form na rin. Gusto na, gusto na rin nilang labanan si YouTube. So... Uh, let's see what happens there, right? So yeah, I'm now in tic- on TikTok. If you want to follow me, just Kuya Dev Things. Uh, may may-ari na kasi nung Kuya, Kuya Dev eh. So napilitan ako maghanap ng another handle. Uh, pero ganun talaga. So yeah, let's you know proceed with the episode proper. So gusto ko lang tanongin. Um, how would you know? No? Or how do you know kung yung career na current na meron ka is the one that you want. You know, you, that you want to pursue di naman for the rest of your life, but for the most of your life. Because, you know, uh, things can change in the future. Maybe you could change careers again, you know, if you're a career shifter or if you're not a career shifter, you might want to change the course of your career. You know. Maybe you want to go want to go into agriculture or no? or any other field but at the current state of your career are you happy and do you see yourself doing this for the next 5 to 10 years no? uh, let's say that's kind of medium term right mga short term mga 3 to 5 years eh. but on the medium term 5 to 10 years that's kind of long na rin. Do you see yourself doing the same thing over and over again over those or the, over the next decade? And how would you know that you know, how how could you be sure na yan yung gusto mong career? Napag-usapan namin to ng asawa ko I think a year or before she left her first company. Napag-usapan namin to parang ito ba talaga yung gusto niyang gawin? Na actually, I went through Ren before ako nag-shift ng careers and before ako umalis ng first company ko. Uh, fun fact, we met the same company. So, nauna akong umalis, tapos sumunod siya. So, kinda may, may influence siguro ako dun sa naging decision niya. But, you know, ultimately, it was her decision to leave the company. And, one of the reasons why she, and ako na rin, eh, napaisip kung gusto namin ituloy yung, ka- yung career na yon or with that company, is because yung mga boss namin. I'm not saying na there's something or they, they are bad bosses. That's another discussion. But there's a particular 
thing sa ginagawa ng mga boss natin that we should look to para malaman natin kung yun ba talaga yung career na gusto natin puntahan. And it's and if, it's kind of simple if you think about it. Na parang, titignan mo yung boss mo ngayon, yung current boss mo. Do you see yourself doing the same job? Kapag ikaw na yung andon. Do you want that position? That same job na ginagawa niya, gusto mo ba yun? And if the answer is no, mukhang kailangan muna mag-isip-isip kung dapat ka nga ba magtagal sa current company mo. And mag extend yan kung dapat ka ba magtagal sa current career mo. ba? Diba? Kasi pwede mong tignan dun eh. Ito yung career na tatahakin ko. Ito yung ladder na aakyatin ko. Pasok ba, sa, pasok ba siya sa gusto ko? Does it really align with what I want? With what I want to do in life as a career? No? So, back then, I'm mm, entering my sixth year? Ah, no, 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 no. I, tr- I shifted 2017 eh. So, yeah. This is my sixth year of leaving my first company and my first career as an engineer. So, six years ago, actually before that, before ako mag-decide na mag-shift, I looked at my bosses. No? Yung mga team leaders ng mga, ng mga teams dun sa department namin. Tinignan ko, ito ba yung gusto kong gawin for the next decade or so? Hanggang sa mag-retire ako. And tinig- tinignan ko ano yung ginagawa. Eh. It's more of going to meetings, It's a large organization, so, or, yeah, it's it was actually a large organization. There was a lot of politics involved. Kailangan mong sumipsip sa mga higher-ups. And you have to also manage down. Manage up and manage down. And I gotta be honest here, marami sa kanila hari-harian. I think, usual to sa mga engineering na companies na Porque boska, you feel that you have the power over people. Yung mga people under you. Na kailangan ang turing nila sa'yo, Diyos. And the department I was in is kinda unique. That kapag nagtatrabaho yung mga, kapag busy yung mga empleyado, it means that the that the whole franchise or our customers are in trouble. Kasi kami yung troubleshooters. So, kung may ginagawa kami yung trabaho, ano, uh, kung may ginagawa kami yung trabaho, if we're doing our job and we're busy in our day-to-day work, it means that our users are suffering. Our customers are suffering. Kasi yun yung trabaho namin to troubleshoot. Ibig sabihin, maraming trouble. No? And kapag naman wala kaming ginagawa masyado, if we're not doing anything during our shift, it means that the system, the whole system, the whole franchise, and our customers are at a stable state. That's good, right? That's good. But that also means na madalas nakatanga lang kami. And I don't know if you notice, ayoko yung nakatanga lang masyado. <laughs> Kaya rin siguro naging blessing din yun kasi, you know, with that opportunity na pagka walang trouble, there's no trouble, it gave me the the time to work or to learn another field. That's when I really took up programming. I really became serious about learning programming because I had the time during office hours. So if I wasn't busy with work, I was busy learning. So that for me worked out. But during that time, I, I was really thinking, this, this isn't what I want to do over the, les- over the rest of my life. I, uh, although y- yung trabaho namin doon very impactful, lalo na pagka may economic uh, activity sa, sa Maynila, and whenever there is a natural calamity, may jum, ano, 
medyo malaki impact namin doon. It was very fulfilling pagka ganun. But those events are very few and far in between. Nung umpisa, very exciting. Ang sarap, nakakatulong ka sa kababayan mo. But eventually, nawawala rin yung, ano na yun eh, yung, yung, yung feeling na yun. Kasi paulit-ulit na, you know what to do na, parang, actually, nasa manual din yun, no? Kailangan nga lang talaga ng split-second decision-making kadalasan pagka ganon, lalo na pagka may emergency. But, eventually, you will be desensitized sa, sa feeling na yun eh, na masasanay ka masyado. And 10 years into doing that, I really, I really just got tired of it. It was very important work. Don't get me wrong. But I just wanted to move on. And yeah, you know, I looked onto my bosses. I, look, I looked to my bosses. I looked at what they did in their everyday lives. And I th- thought to myself na, this is not what I wanted to do. I wanted change. And that's really one of the sparks. This, that's w- that was really one of the sparks that pushed me to be serious about taking programming and hopefully shift into the tech industry. And my, wife's, my wife had a similar experience. She looked into her bosses. Tinignan niya yung mga boss niya. And inisip niya, ito ba talaga yung gusto kong gawin over the next five years? And the answer that she got from herself was a resounding no. So she started looking for another company. And she was, she's actually a finance professional. So medyo yung opisina na napuntahan niya is wala rin masyadong opportunity for finance ana- analysts. Parang medyo may ceiling din. Kasi it, the, the, the department that she was in, the office that she was in is dominated by engineers. Actually, uh, we, we actually discussed about this na parang hindi yata dapat engineers din yung naghahawak nun. Baka may consulting lang, parang on mangilan-ngilan. But uh, that's more going to into details, so I won't, I won't uh, discuss anything more about it. But we felt na parang kailangan doon mga finance, finance as- analysts talaga, mga economists. But ganun talaga yung nangyari. So, yun nga, napaisip siya na, no, I need a change in, in my career. So, naghanap talaga siya ng lilipatan. So, ikaw, my dear listeners, maybe you could assess then if what you're currently doing right now is the one that's meant for you. What that's the one that you want. Tignan mo rin. Tignan mo yung mga boss mo. Yung current boss mo, kahit direct supervisor mo, yung mga seniors nyo. Tignan nyo kung anong ginagawa niya. Is it something that you are excited to do kapag andong ka na dun sa situation nila? If you have that position na. Is it something that you wanna do or you're eager to eager to do you know, parang kinikilabutan ka kasi parang nakaka-excite na gawin sa so current company ko you know uh, my current boss uh, the CTO part of what he's doing I wanna do architecture um, planning setting the direction of the technical team you know or the whole technical direction but a bit of the work that he's doing I don't wanna do like people management. I don't really want to do that, going to meetings. But it's not something na parang completely I don't want to do. If I have the the choice, I'd rather not do it. You know? Like managing a Jira boards. You know? It's it's very tedious. But I understand that if you're in that posi- position, kailangan mo nang ginagawa yun. But I talked to my to my CTO and we agreed on what track I should be moving to. You know, yung ano yung gusto kong, kung ano yung babagay sa akin na, na track. So, napag-usapan na namin yun. Ayoko munang sabihin dahil ayoko rin uh, pangunahan yung sarili ko at ayoko pangunahan yung company at yung boss ko. 
but we have a plan and i'm we're currently working on it para ma-achieve ko yung goal na yun and it's something that's really exciting for me kasi it's what i want and it's more on the architectural side of things so it really excites me na this i haven't felt this when i was in the first company i worked for so this is really refreshing for me i thought na when i shifted into tech i thought i would just be an individual contributor i never really wanted to be a part of leadership but i think you know my experience in my first company which really really helped me to mold me into some kind of leader you know sabi nga nila leadership is not something that you seek it's something that you know parang you're destined to get you know if you want to be a leader you you need to be a great follower first diba and you need to there's some certain qualities that leaders have that bo- that bosses don't you know kasi it's different if you're you feel like you're a boss iba yon eh leadership kasi hindi naman kailangan ng ng ano yan eh ng position actually eh. although there are times na kailangan na ano talaga i-formalize yan like what's ha- what happened to me na ginawa akong team leader and hopefully if things go well to another you know higher position na I re- never really aspired for but it's something that excites me and uh, I think I, I, like I mentioned my boss thinks that suits me and I should you know we agreed that I should target so yeah um like I said in my current company part of my boss's job I don't want to do so a lot of those we removed we tried to you know exclude from the, the from the responsibilities of the would be position for me and a lot of what I wanted to do like architecture will be part a huge part of that position na hopefully ma- ma- makuha natin di ba okay lang naman kahit hindi but uh, it will be great kasi that means that I'll I'll be a huge part or I have I'll have a huge imprint dun sa magiging direction ng company and that's that's good you know which means ang laki ng magiging impact ko dun sa company which di ko naman naramdaman talaga in a way sa first company ko kasi ang dami nyo dun eh it's a very huge company I think thousands of employees I forget so yeah um Maybe you could assess. Marami kasi tao na hindi nare-realize 'yon eh. Na they follow blindly yung climb the corporate ladder, 'di ba? Yung sinasabi natin ganyan. Which I think hindi na ganoon ka-enticing sa mga younger generations. Kasi nga nare-realize nila na ganoon nga. Gusto ko ba yung trabaho ng boss ko? Di ko nga nabanggit yung mga boss namin dati, on call 'yon na anytime kahit nasok na kabakasyon ka eh pwede kang tawagan I didn't want that like it was very important for me to separate my personal life from work kung mag encroach yung trabaho ko sa sa personal life ko and yung trabaho ko it, it, it is something that I really wanted to do napaka napaka stressful no iniisip ko pa lang eh Iniisip ko pa lang nun. Imagine ko pa lang eh. Ako, may inis ako. And during the, my, my stay dun sa, ano, sa, sa first company ko, talagang pinapatay ko yung phone ko hanggat maaari pagka off-duty ako. Unless I know. Unless I know na may emergency or something na important. Pag may important, syempre naka-standby ako. Pero pagka tipong, alam kong wala namang importanteng bagay na dapat akong ano, tawagan, pinapatay ko talaga yung phone ko. Because I wanted to separate my life, my personal life from, you know, my work. And 
kung na- narating mo yung team leader, no? team leader, no? department head, sobrang pag may maari ka na ng, ng kumpanya. Yeah, okay. Maganda yung sweldo. Mm-hmm. But, hindi ko hinabol yung sweldo. Eh. Pagka nga nagsasabit ng mga ng mga required papeles para ano, for promotion or for merit rating, often, I don't do it. Pakahaba nung sino, sino nung business sinasagutan namin dati. I'd rather not. No? I'd rather not fill up those things. You know? But like, it felt like namamalimus ka for something. Eh. Barya. Barya yung, barya yung, ano na eh, yung, yung increase na makukuha mo pagka nakakuha ka ng mataas na merit rating. Hindi naman barya, pero nung relatively, sobrang liit dun sa sabi nating nakukuha ko ngayon. And I didn't, yun nga, I'm doing it, you know? Parang namamalimus ka na, hindi mo pa gusto yung ginagawa mo. Like, it was, it was very frustrating and stressful. And I think medyo na-frustrate din sa akin yung mga office mates ko kasi parang sila nag-aagawan parang sa akin wala wala lang sa akin parang wala akong pakialam which is totoo wala akong pakialam mag-away-away kayo dyan magagawang kayo ng merit magagawa, magagawang kayo sa mga position ako dito lang ako basta I'm doing my work and I'm doing it well no actually sabi nila di ba parang nauso ngayon yung quiet quitting I was kinda quiet quitting Without the quitting part, no? kasi hindi ko pa nare-realize na pwede ako lumipat ng tech industry nun eh. So, I wasn't really exploring other opportunities. But, I was kind of quiet quitting without the quitting part. <laughs> I was just doing the bare minimum or ab- kind uh, slightly above the bare minimum needed to fulfill my responsibilities. Which is, okay lang naman, di ba? Okay lang naman, eh, yun yung Ayun yung nasa kontrata. Ayun yung duties and responsibilities mo. So, you can, you can do the bare minimum. No? Or above. Or slightly above the bare minimum. Okay lang naman yun. I don't... Medyo parang sinasabi ngayon, parang uh, masama yun eh. No? Yung nagka-quiet quitting eh. <laughs> Pero, uh, I beg to differ. Depende yan eh. Depende sa ano yan eh. Pero, Siguro ibang ano na lang natin na I-discuss natin sa ibang episode Yung quiet quitting na yan But currently Sa ang stand ko dyan The, the employee has every right Kasi yun naman yung binayad sa kanya eh Diba? <laughs> May stigma ngayon eh no? Parang Pero eh, you know um, So yeah uh, Again Have a look Sa mga taong hindi Narealize yun Mga Tignan nyo yung, 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 yung situation nyo. Is this really what you want? Is the job of your of your supervisor or superior or your boss, is it something that you're aspiring for? And why? Really? Do you really want your boss's job? No? And what are the pros and cons of that job? Tignan nyo. Hindi basta-basta na, uy, supervisor na ako. And then what? Tapos malalaman mo, hindi mo pala gusto yung trabaho and, and, and you end up miserable. You know? I-assess nyo. Don't go into it blindly. Lalo na sa panahon ngayon. Hindi nyo lang siguro nakita, but there's so much opportunity. Lalo na sa tech industry, so much opportunity. Sa engineering, no comment. <laughs> Pero sa tech industry, there's so much opportunity. Although narinig natin na maraming layoffs ngayon, it's a phase. Things will, will get uh, eventually get back to normal and, you know, demand will pick up. Yeah, may AI, there's contention about that. But I don't really subscribe to it. There's always going to be jobs for software developers, software engineers di tayo mawawala. Not in the, near fu- in the near future. I don't think. So, with that, thank you and I'll see you next episode. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Kuya Dev Tidbits Podcast. I hope it will be helpful to you in your tech career journey. 
Remember, building a successful career in tech takes time and dedication. But with the right mindset and resources, anything is possible. If you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and colleagues. And if you have comments, suggestions, or any questions or topics you'd like to hear more about, feel free to email me at rem at kuya.dev. I'd also love to hear your own stories and experiences. So don't be shy, reach out and share them with me. I'm always here to support you in your tech journey. Do also join our community, Tech Career Shifter Philippines at www.techcareershifter.com. Until next time, keep learning, growing, and chasing your dreams. Thank you again for listening, and I'll see you in the next episode.